Hello and welcome to Sue Family Designs. So what's been happening since the last video? Well last weekend my husband and I uh, took a train ride to Kalgoorlie which is six and a half hours inland from Perth for um, the Art Awards. I don't know whether you remember in the video uh, a couple of videos ago where I showed you the piece that I'd made with the hand coming out of the water for the Art Awards. Well anyway, that was last weekend. Unfortunately I didn't win anything, but uh, such is life. We did have a really good time um, away in Kalgoorlie. It's not a place I would have thought that I would have ever gone because I've got no reason to travel six and a half hours inland from where I am. Um, because other than that out there in the golf fields there's not much else. So that was a good experience to go there. Um, so I've also been trying to catch up with a few things, one of which was the golf ball that I made just before I went to Bali. Um, I've been playing around with ideas for that and this is what I made using the golf ball. didn't quite turn out according to plan, it's, it's not quite what I had in my mind when I was thinking of the, the ball hitting the water and splashing out. However, I do think it's made a quite an interesting paperweight, if nothing else. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how I molded the golf ball um, and then how I made the, the water uh, effect to create this piece. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so Starting out, um, we, I need a base in which to sit the golf ball on so that it's not rolling around in the cup when we pour the silicone mould material. So I'm just using a touch of polymer clay that I have already in my stock of um, products. I'm not baking it or anything like that. All I'm going to do is just um, use it as a like I say a base but you can use um, clay, putty or anything else that's mouldable that you can just sit the golf ball on so it can be plasticine, it can be absolutely anything that is going to allow the ball not to roll around in the cup. So all I'm doing here is I'm just um, softening the polymer clay up because it's quite hard so I'm just using the warmth of my hands and rolling it around and things to make it more pliable before I stick it in the plastic cup. So for the moulding of the golf ball I'm using a product called Pinky Sill. It comes in two parts, part A and part B, which is an equal part. So I'm just measuring this out into two plastic cups that has ridges and I'm just eyeballing the measurements to make sure that they're the same. And then it just simply just mix the two together until you can see you can no longer see any white in with the pink. This is the same material that I used to make a mould of my hand. So the same principle applies, you just mix the product um, and then I literally stuck my hand in, left it there for 20 minutes and then with the aid of my daughter Emma, she helped me pull my hands out, back out again. Um, it, it was quite hard staying in the same position, it, you know, it, it, the material is safe to use on skin and things but um, staying still in, in the same position for 20 minutes is quite difficult because you feel the need to wiggle your fingers and things like that but uh, you know, I did get there in the end. So like I say, we just mix this, the two parts together and it's just the same as resin The once the two parts are mixed together it does then start to uh, cure and but this takes about 20 minutes to uh, cure initially and then continues further on so after about 20 minutes half an hour you can actually handle the product to then remove the item from the the mold but you'll see in a second what I do is I will um, once this has been um, curing for a bit I'll just touch it on occasions on the top just to make sure that the it's firmed up enough for me to then handle and as you can see we just simply just pour that on the top and then just wait for that to cure I will use the stick to just pop a few of the bubbles on the top and also 
I'll just um, bang the cup down on the table just a few times like like so just to help some bubbles rise to the top and I don't want to go too um, hard with that because I don't want to dislodge the golf ball and have that rolling round on the bottom because we want a good finish a good clean um, cast of this so now I'm just gonna um, remove this from the plastic and remove the golf ball now this has been curing for about half an hour and it's still quite soft so it makes it easy for the golf ball to be removed you'll see later on that I'll need to cut the mould when I'm actually taking the resin piece out because the pinkies will have hardened up quite a bit that it's then difficult to remove items and I didn't want to damage the, the resin itself so now we're ready to pour the resin for this one I'm using a casting resin rather than a coating resin um, a coating resin um, doesn't work well if you're pouring thick layers of, of resin so this is where casting resin comes into its own you have less bubbles and it's um, you get you don't get it overheating um, on thicker pores now once that's been left to cure overnight it's now time to remove and as you can see to help with the removal of the golf ball I'm just making a small incision down the side of the mold to just help remove that now we can reuse this mold so don't worry about that because if you're careful on how you split it open once you put elastic bands or sellotape around the outside you get a, quite a nice seal um, for reusing the mould so it is possible to reuse it so don't worry there and there you have it there's the golf ball so now we move on to the water splashes so I first poured a, a very small dollop of um, the regular coating resin on some cellophane and I'm just placing some acrylic diamonds around the outside which have also been coated in some resin so that they um, stand proud and are not lying flat in the, the resin and then we're going to leave it to cure now because it's warmed up a bit here I actually left it a little bit too long so that's why this didn't turn out according to plan so I really wanted it to be more drippy um, but that didn't happen so that was the end of that one but like I say it, t it still turned out really nice but it wasn't quite what my um, vision was all about so here I'm just balancing the golf ball on top of um, some glad wrap uh, some cling wrap that I've got lying around and I'm now going to place the layers on top now this is actually three layers I think off the top of my head yeah I think I've done three layers on this but I'm just showing you um, how I placed it now here I actually made another mistake a nice rookie er error where I touched the resin with my fingers um, and you can see it's still quite sticky so <laughs> so I uh, but not to worry when I place the other one on top it does actually sort that out so being careful not to touch the sticky resin So I do apply a little bit of heat to this to try and help the resin run down the cellophane a little bit and then it's just left overnight to cure. So once again waiting after waiting the waiting game and leaving it overnight it's now time to remove the plastic and separate the pieces from each other once separated I will mix up a, a small batch of resin I, what I usually do is I'll usually wait until I'm making another piece and then just use a tiny amount from that so that I'm not wasting 
resin so this will have waited a couple of days uh, before I was then making some more resin before gluing the, the three pieces together. So as always I hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more resin vi uh, video ideas then please subscribe to my channel or better still go and browse my other videos. I have plenty of ideas to keep you inspired. Excuse my voice disappearing by the way. So until next time, see you in the next video. Bye for now.